What's up YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. In today's video, we're we'll looking at one of the most talked about questions and ideas on gear pages around the world, and that is playing guitar in your apartment. So let's go. So like most of you guys, I too live in an apartment here in Los Angeles and my office isn't that big. So what kind of amp should I be using in my apartment? Well, some may say you can use a Yamaha TH5, one of those small lunchbox type amp. Some may say a Princeton, some may say a Hot Rod Deluxe or a Blues Junior. But I say really any amp, as long as you know how to use it to its max potential. So today we're gonna look at that and we're gonna look at using the Fender Princeton amp and how I use it in my apartment. So let's go. So here is my Princeton Reverb Reissue. It's a 15 watt amp with a 10 inch speaker and not only is it awesome for apartment and home use, but it's equally awesome because it's light and portable and easy to carry on to gigs around town. So those are two great reasons why to have a Princeton in your arsenal. But now let's dive into more of the features. So let's zoom in here and see what we got. So here we are zoomed in, in the front panel of the amp, you have volume, which I have set at five and a half, treble at four, bass at four, reverb just above two, and the tremolo on as well, speed two, and intensity at four and a half, and I'm plugged into the first input. So my idea with EQ and volume is, volume is two may be perfect for apartment volumes, right? But my idea is, turn it up to where the amp is working, and control everything on your guitar volume. And we'll dive into that more in a bit. Treble bass, I use less pause, so I don't need that much bass, nor do I need that much treble. Reverb, it's obvious, a little bit of reverb. The more you turn up the volume, the less reverb you need, really. And the trem, I like, just adds a little bit of dimension to the tone. So that's how the amp is set. Let's dive into the playing part of the video and explain more of why this is all set like this. So let's go. Les Paul plugged into the Princeton. Princeton's on about five and a half like you guys saw. And that tone was neck pickup with the volume at around seven and a half. That's a great clean volume. Great clean tone. So, like mentioned before, the amp is doing all the work. Remember, the amp is on about five and a half. Now, all you're controlling is the guitar volume. So the idea is put the amp at the loudest it can be for your environment, or in this case, our apartment, and do all the volume work on the volume knobs, okay? So, for example, here is seven and a half. I guess for this environment, not too crazy loud. Others, maybe too much. If you put the guitar volume on 10, now it's way too loud for the apartment. Even playing softly with your right hand, it's too loud. So, Finding that sweet spot on this guitar is about seven, seven and a half for apartment volume, and you're good to go. And the cool part is, take your guitar volume again, put it to about five, and you can talk over it. And you can dig in more. And you can practice with that volume, even at like 10 p.m. at night, like I do sometimes. So again, your amp is loud, but all you're controlling is your guitar volume. 
So now let's do it the reverse. Let's put the amp low and keep the guitar volume high and see how that works out. So that tone was guitar volume on 10, amp on two. For me and this environment, that's too quiet. You can dig in more with your right hand, but it's almost reaching the ceiling volume wise. Let's turn it up. Let's take it to about three and a half. Guitar volume is still on 10. It's still, I think, too quiet and you don't have that much control over the tone. I mean, if you go to volume seven, it's way too quiet. And you play softly, it's even more quiet. Right? Turn it to 10. Still, tone is good, clean tone, but it can be better. Let's take the volume to about four and a half. And now the amp is waking up, trying to do a little more work. Again, same help on the way riff, guitar volume 10. That's a great tone. Cause you can go with seven, and you have somewhere to go. Here's 10. That's a great tone. Find the sweet spot on your amp as well. On this amp, I think it's about five and a half. Because if I dig in hard on the Les Paul, the amp starts to break up, but I don't want that. I'm not living on 10 every single day while I practice in my apartment. I'm living in about seven and a half, seven, eight maybe. Right? Guitar volume doing all the work at this point. Amp is working as well, but guitar volume is your best friend here. You have all your dynamic range right here. You can go from super, super quiet at volume four, turn it up, six and a half. Turn it up, eight and a half. If you were to take one thing from this video, put the amp louder for its environment, even if, if it's you're living in a small cubicle, put it a little loud. Don't be afraid of the volume. And do all the work on your guitar volume. So those were the tones with the Princeton reverb on about five and a half. I know I'm seeing the volume a lot, but the main idea from this video is volume under the amp and do all the controlling of the overall volume with your guitar volume. Volume, volume, volume. 
Now, what if you have another amp, like a Harrow Deluxe, which in my opinion is probably the best amp in the world. I love the Harrow Deluxe, it's amazing. Some may say, that's too loud for the apartment, which I know it is a very loud amp. I mean, it goes from super quiet to super loud. Put the amp on about 2.53, that will be way too loud for everyone. But again, all your dynamics and control of the volume is coming from your guitar knob, right? When you're practicing, I would say don't really use pedals because that, that just colors the tone, right? You want a pure tone when you're practicing. So guitar into amp, amp loud, and all your dynamics and volume stuff comes from your volume knob. Now, what if you're crazy and you're playing, like I do sometimes, let's see if I can move the camera, over here, my 100 watt overdrive special. Well, same concept goes. I have the master volume on about three on 100 watt mode, and this amp, the whole apartment can probably hear if I'm guitar volume 10, but I'm not. I'm never living on my guitar volume 10. I live mostly on the guitar volume on this amp at around maybe six, seven, because it's so loud. But it has to be if I want the tone to sound good and the feel of the amp to be consistent here as it is on stage. Because if not, if you have the master volume super low, the amp isn't working at its optimal like it should be. So when you go on stage and your volume is louder, it'll feel like a totally different beast on your guitar. So again, like I'm saying this whole video, amp just loud enough and a little bit louder for your room and do all the controlling with your guitar volume. All right guys, that's today's video on getting the best tone in your apartment with the amps that you have, whether it's a 15 watt amp like the Princeton or even a 100 watt amp like in my case, my Overdrive Special. They can still be used in your apartment, but it's all about how you control the amp and how you control the volume. Like I said, I like to put the amp so it's just a little bit louder for its environment and do all the controlling on the guitar. So you start at seven, which is good enough volume, but you have somewhere else to go if you have to, if you're jamming with somebody or whatever, you can go to 10. You don't have to live the whole show or your whole practice session on guitar volume 10 because at that point you can't really go any more, anywhere else dynamic wise. So seven you start pretty good and if you need more volume just go to your volume knob and just turn it up without pedals i think practicing at home shouldn't be with pedals and some may say without a reverb i like a little bit of reverb but on my ods there is no reverb or i don't use any as it on it as well so guitar cable amp and you get maximum dynamics from the whole rig remember it's a whole system so guitar, cable, amp, and you're good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it made sense to you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and leave a comment, press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.